Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today is the day that some of you have been waiting for and some of you didn't know that you were waiting for. The official test of the Hollybro F3 ESC. Now what makes this a unique ESC? Well first of all, it's using an F3 processor. And you might say, okay, well so what? Well it's a slightly faster processor than the Cortex M0 that they've been using on the BL Heli 32 ESCs. And it's the same processor that was used on the F3 flight controller, which is slightly faster. Uh, quite a little bit faster, yeah, it's pretty fast. So let's take a look at this. So this is a BL Heli 32 ESC with RGB LED. It obviously does have some filtration using some pretty nice MOSFET as well. And uh, we do have the filtration seems minimal and there's a lot of real estate on this board. So this has me thinking that uh, maybe the faster the speed, the cleaner the thing runs because we did notice that in the PWM frequency option inside uh, the BL Heli 32. So maybe there's some kind of a secret to this and we'll see that right now in a little bit once we start testing it. So as you can tell here, we do also have a shunt resistor. So we do have current limiting and current sensing. So it's really nice and they do provide you with the telemetry pad. There is no ground pad. So the whole thing is grounded within, but it's really nice to always just run a little extra ground pad to the uh, flight controller if you can. If you don't want to, that's totally fine also. So I'm guessing they put these little holes obviously for, you know, the traces and as well as probably just add a little bit of cooling, maybe. Uh, I would do something of that nature to, to kind of do that. The board is pretty thick. It does look like it's going to be, it's going to hold its current very well. And um, it's quite small, actually. It's a lot smaller than the Tico, not a lot smaller. It's actually smaller than Tico 32 ESC. So I'm really excited to see how well this tests. And enough blah blah ring. Let's just jump to it because I can't wait anymore. All right, guys, so the long awaited test results of the production model of the F3 ESC from Hollybro. So let's take a look at this. First of all, when I first ran the test, I was surprised. Um, to be honest, I wasn't thinking it was going to perform very well, but it actually performed really good. So let's take a look at this. And there's some couple things that I noticed also while testing that I think you guys should take note of. So first of all, this is the throttle noise level test. This kind of also gives us an idea and it helps us see if there could possibly be mid throttle oscillation in your quad. It could be from the ESC, if especially between 50 and 95% throttle if these were really, really big. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So let's take a look at this. 10% throttle. This is 25% throttle. This is 50%, uh, 75 and 100% throttle. Same thing. These two are exactly the same. And this is simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. So we're going to start comparing them in a little bit. But first of all, if you take a look here, it looks like it's running pretty consistent and pretty clean, which is really nice to see here for, for, for the amount of filtration on board. There's still a lot more real estate. So I do expect possibly a V2 with more caps on board, but I think there's still a little bit more programming that needs to be done to it, but overall it's still performing very well. And I'll explain why in a little bit. So let's take a look down here. Uh, the motors did sound smooth. They noticeably smooth, but not smoother than the Tico 32, but they were, they were pretty damn smooth. That's for sure. So, uh, this is the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Now, if we're looking at this, we really can't make out what's really going on until we start comparing it. So let's just start comparing it right now. All right, let's start with the top three radar, you know, the, my top three ESCs. Let's start with the DYS Aria, which is the lowest on the list. So here's the throttle noise test. So this is lowest on the list. I mean, by the third best ESC single standalone ESC that I've ever tested and ever tested. Keep that into consideration. Take that as a note. So this is the DYS Aria and this is the 
uh, Hollybro F3 ESC throttle noise level test. As you can tell, the F3 is, they're, they're about the same, but the F3 seems to be running a little bit cleaner because you have these little hiccups here, and I did notice that a couple times. Uh, overall, they're both running pretty well. Um, they're really good, actually. These are still the best, but the F3 is, is slightly better, actually. So, I mean, if you take a look here, the amplitude is a lot less. And by amplitude, what I mean is the voltage fluctuation is a lot less. You can kind of see that right there. So that's something that's uh, very important here. So the, the F3 is, is doing better in the throttle noise the test. So that's very good. Now let's check out the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Here's a DYS Aria. And let's put this into perspective here. So they're both almost exactly performing the same. Now you see these little jumps here on the F3 ESC. And this is nothing to be concerned about because this is i believe a software issue and the thing is i didn't update to the latest bl holly 32 and i will in a little bit and probably run another test later on but what really happens here when i noticed it is uh when i was just testing making sure i have the motor orientation correct around i think less than 25 percent throttle it's really choppy they don't spin, but it's just it, it needs a little bit higher percentage to start the motor running very smooth. Now, the motors did sound smooth, which is very good. They sounded just as smooth as the DYS Aria, which is really nice to see. So this little hiccup here was possibly when it dropped down to, you know, like as you can tell here, check this out. So this was basically like somewhat of a full throttle in a way. And then, the, and then it came here probably around 50% or 70% throttle. And when it came back to zero... This is like zero right here, basically, because the voltage is perfect at 16.8 volts. And when it wanted to start again, it probably wanted to just push a little bit. And when it pushed a little bit here, this is probably, it was around maybe, uh, we could say 15% before it went like full blast or did some kind of a maneuver. And this is what happened here until it picked up and then it got it into place. And that's what you're seeing here. It's not often that it happens, but this is the same thing that when you increase the PWM frequency, you can actually see a hiccup throughout the line. Playing with that PWM frequency in BLH32 on any EAC, even the DYS Aria, you would see a specific hiccup of this nature somewhere in the throttle range. However, on the Hollybro F3, it's in the super low end that you don't really use, um, but it's, it's there. And I, I truly, this is just a software issue. I'm pretty sure it's just a software issue. All right, so let's start comparing it to something else. I think the device already actually was the second best ESC. So for example here, let's pick up some fly color X cross ESCs and let's check out the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers here. You can totally see that the F3 ESC is doing better than that one, which is really nice to see. And like I mentioned, they're probably going to be adding more caps. And if you add just one low ESR capacitor on this uh, flight, on this ESC, it's going to perform absolutely uh, spectacular, actually. I think I have a DYS. No, I don't have a DYS. I was just going to see if I had a DYS Aria with some throttle noise level. I mean, with the uh, low ESR capacitor installed. So we can get a clear idea of how well it'll end up performing. So this this is the type of ESC where you just put one 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor. Not that it's needed, but it, it'll really clean this up. It'll probably have it performing as a Tico 32. Uh, with Just perfect. It's just insane here. So I'm really curious to see how well this is going to end up performing. But just to put another clear representation, let's get the best ESC that I've ever tested, which is the Tico 32 4 one ESC. Nothing has ever come close to this here. So, you know, I mean, yeah, uh, this is this is insane. This is really insane, this ESC. Um, a lot of people emailed me after testing it. And um, this, is, this is a perfect result, basically. You're not going to see anything better than this. And uh, you can see what the voltage is going. But this is the Tico 32 ESC. This is the best ESC. And this is, you know, just a Hollybro F3 ESC, which is still on the top three radar. It's competing exactly with the DYS Aria, which is uh, really good. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting that from looking at the board. But I'm really glad I was wrong. Uh, and that's why I didn't mention anything. So overall, the production model is performing absolutely phenomenal. And um, I'm pretty sure once I update the firmware, and I will be doing that, and seeing if there's actually a newer firmware. But I knew in the beginning there was a little, this issue was uh, a little bit worse, but that's how I know it's a software issue. So it's, it's really nothing, maybe a couple weeks, or it's probably already solved. I haven't checked, but I'll check with Hollybro, and I'll put a comment down. So if you want to keep checking back, you could go ahead and see that. But overall, this ESC performs very well here on the bench. I haven't done any real testing, but so far it's handling its noise filtration very well. The motors did sound pretty smooth. 
and um, overall it seems like a very good ESC and that's all I can really say at the current moment in time and yeah well that's it guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the video I really hope it was useful to someone out there and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and all the links will be linked down below if you could use those those greatly support the channel keep it going and that's it guys I will see you next time peace out